Hello duelists and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be going over one of the most frustrating cards in the format right now. It's a card that I think will see a lot of play in YCS Las Vegas and very well could be a card that is determinant in the winner's deck, whether it being something that they prepared for to get to the finals and win or something they incorporated, or maybe it is both. Before I continue, please make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you always know when I'm posting a new video. And also comment down below if you guys like these type of meta analysis videos. There's something that I've been doing a lot of recently and a lot of people seem to enjoy them. And while I would like to do other types of content as well, for now, this is something you guys want, so I will stick to it. Also, please go check out tsx1.com where you can use the code POTATO10 for 10% off on all your sleeves. These are the sleeves I use. Trust me, they are fantastic quality. You will not regret using them at all. Without hesitation, let's uh, take a look at the card I'm talking about. Okay, so we got Nightmare Corruptor Ibli. So for those of you who aren't aware what the card does, uh, let's ignore the first line of text or the first effect. I'll read the rest out to you. You cannot special summon monsters except link monsters. Okay, why would I play this? Now this card and its owner's control is sent to the graveyard. Special summon this card to your opponent's field in defense. So this is like the uh, branded combo that summons raw disciple to your opponent's field where your opponent can't summon anything. And yeah, I mean, this is the same thing. They can still summon link monsters, but if you don't have a good link one, which there really isn't a good link one, then you don't have any sort of recourse. Um, you can normal summon a monster and theoretically you can make a link two, which most decks have at this point. That That's is not much of a stretch. But what if they have any sort of, you know, removal? They have a rise heart, they have book of moon, they have smashers. They banish your normal summon and you're still left with Ebly. So you can't special summon. This matters for more ways than one. Say you're playing against Kashira and you're siding on the beers and lava columns and you're, you're all excited now. You're like, yeah, they got me game one. They thought they were slick with their combo. But now I got my side deck ready. I'll draw one of these cards. Look at your hand. Got that Nibiru. You got that Lava Golem. You're thinking to yourself, easy dubs here. Let's go. We got this. Then they go Unicorn, all to be expected. And then they normal summon Nibli. Can't Nibiru them now. They'll combo you. Okay, fine. We'll uh, summon Lava Golem. Oh, wait, we can't. There's Nibli on the field. Yeah. Uh, okay, what if we just turn the Nibli to attack and crash? Oh, wait, they're all XYZs. They're in defense. Yeah, so not a good solution here. Um, what do we do next? We play Lingribo. Sure, Lingribo. Let's do that. Let's play Lingribo. Yeah, yeah. Wait, they play Mind Hacker, the Ripsig card. So you have to play two Lingaribos. That's frustrating. Now, what if we are playing Kashira? Go to the Lingaribo. There's still a monster in our field. Still the exact same problem where we have to like normal summon with birth. And then if it gets banished, or, like booked face down, what do you do? I got, I got, I got nothing for you guys. Like... That's not good enough. You need something else there. That this is not enough cards to, to win that matchup. Need another birth. Um, maybe we play Book of Eclipse. Same issue. Also, you have to draw it. You have to play two Lingaribos, which is a pain in the ass. And then you need to make sure that if you have two Lingaribos, now they'll be mind hackering something else. That whatever else you win them to mind hacker, you have multiple copies of as well. This uh, this means that now, if we're trying to prepare for Kashira, you have to like commit an abundance of extra deck spots. That's, you know, not something I'm like super uh, excited for. Yeah, don't don't love it. What do we do about it? Maybe in the Kosh Tira matchup, you have to play cards that clear your own field like Dark Hole and Enemy Controller, but it's not great. It brings your overall quality cards down, but that doesn't bring up the rest of the things with Ebly. So now, now that we've moved on to the Kosh Tira aspect, we talked about how it affects other decks. There's one other deck that is also probably the next most popular deck, or maybe even the most, that it's also nuts against, and that is Despia. Okay, so why is it good versus Despia? You can just make Lingaribo, and oh wait, Branded Fusion says you cannot summon except fusion monsters. What do you do? This one is rough. I will go Tribute Summon Abyssal, and then they will go Banish for the Rise Heart, lock the rest of your zones, and you lost. Congratulations. Yeah, this is, this is not ideal. Uh, must say, guys, what are other options? Could you say just bestial it when they try to give it to you? Well, yeah. Uh, if they have a Fenrir or a Unicorn on the field, they get those effects, but I guess that's worth the sacrifice. Listen, how many bestials do you want to play? Oh, side versus Kashira, this is not good. What if they don't play a Bleed? What if they don't draw a Bleed? Do I just have bestials in my deck? What if I draw two bestials into a field of Kashira? That's terrible. Even if I have Lava Golem, who says I can even play after that? That, like, is part of the problem I'm having now with this. They could say, fine, a Bleed is a... Uh, not a searchable card, and they have to draw it. Now, while I don't love the fact that you have to concede to some of these floodgates, because um, it's a rather high percentage of games, they'll just kind of shove off to the side as unwinnable. Maybe that's what you have to do. Ideally, you find something that's more of a middle ground. Eclipse is great because in like the uh, 
the matchup for Despia, you can eclipse the Ibli and that's also hit. If your opponent knows you play no hand traps, no Lavagom's or sphere modes, then they can just go hit all your back row. Like intentionally do the lock five play without the rise art up. And then what do you do? And you can't even like make Link Rebo then uh, Lava Golem and then crash it like you can in Cost Europe because you've summoned from the extra deck Link Monster. So I don't have great, great other solutions. Econ was another one I think I mentioned. Regular Book of Moon is not great, but maybe. This Dark Hole, your options are limited. But okay, even if we move past this and we say they won't have it, surely they won't have it. Well, maybe people start applying level two engines. Let me show you what I mean. Here I have my sprite hand. It's fine. And now I can go Fenrir, grab anything. Uh, what do I want? This deck probably, just another Fenrir is fine. I get extender, but probably don't need the extender. Uh, normal summon, special summon, makes brand, you know, chilling right now. Two more bodies. Now turn everything level two. Fantastic. Here we go, gigantic. First you make this and defense mode is important. And we can summon Ibli from the deck. You have to summon Mannequin Cat first here because this locks you out of summoning anything but links. Now we link the Ibli off and this or Beak up. This goes here. This can special from deck. I'm gonna summon one of the same attribute. So I can go blue, jet, smasher. You can exceed these or you can just chill and save them for an OTK next turn with like Mosquito. You can make like Jin Buster. Still working out what would be best. But yeah, Beak cop Dark to protect this. Then even if you wanted to set up like a guys in attack, they can crash, but I figured it doesn't matter much. Smasher hits the normal summon of this. I could go uh, Carrot instead if I want to negate the Eclipse, but I already have one because of this. And yeah, that was fun. Nice playing, guys. Nice, nice, stupid card. Uh, may as well call the stupid barrier statue the Storm Winds because that's what it looks like here. Um, and yeah, I don't see much counterplay to this. You can't best at that point. The Gigantic Sprite resolved. So what are you doing there? That wasn't a particularly great hand. That was just fine. That was normal summon Angler. <laughs> with a red and a Fenrir, um, which is not that crazy. Yeah, guys, that's that's all I really can say to you. I'll show you the sprite deck quickly. It's very, very concept-ish, but I figured if Ibli is a good card, I kind of want to just have Ibli control. And that's really all this is. Very, very, very five second build. It was just pretty much get to that lock with Ibli Mannequin Cat. But yeah, I think this card might be a terror on the metagame for a bit. So I think you guys should keep it in mind. And I think you guys should also play it if it works with your strategy. And keep in mind, don't need to force everything. If you have a good winning condition already, great. But if you're scared of stuff like Lava Golem, then... Or like even just you don't have a good end, end ward versus Kosh or Branded, throw this in here. Like if you're playing goddamn Labyrinth, you could throw Ibli in. Because now they can't Lightning Storm you either. I guess if they play Lingri, but it's kind of annoying. But yeah, I mean, this card is great. Just consider it. That's all I'm saying. This card... Maybe a big role in what happens in Vegas, and I'm curious to see if other people feel the same. Anyways, that's it for now, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.